Hello everybody, it's Hedgy back with some more Pokemon Emerald Randomizer. In the last episode, we... We... Uh, okay, we got to Mauville City, there we go. I was trying to remember what we were doing, I haven't recorded this in like a month. I've been doing a lot of silver and a lot of, um... Uh, Sonic and Three Knuckles. But anyway, time to next speed, because I'm that good. Let's go ahead and go over... I'm actually going to explore Mauville this episode, not fight uh, the gym leader. You know, it's cool to have Pokemon battles and stuff, but if your Pokemon gets hurt, you have to nurse it back to health. Oh my god, you're giving me basic info. Dude, I already know this stuff. Oh, who are you? Hi, yo. Woohoo! I hear people call me the Rock Smash guy, but I find that sort of degrading. I think I deserve a bit more respect, like maybe the Rock Smash dude. Woohoo! Anyways, your Pokemon look pretty strong. I like that. Here, take this hidden machine. And this guy gives you HM6, which is Rock Smash, because Rock Smash is that freaking awesome. That HM contains Rock Smash. Why did my voice change? I'll never know. If you come across large boulders that block your path, we'll use that HM move and smash them right out of your way. Yes, sir. Smash rocks aside, I say. Woohoo! Okay. <laughs> Let's go ahead and check out the other buildings. I think I've already talked to you, and I think I went in that building last episode. I don't remember what I did in last episode, because again, I haven't recorded in over um, a month, month and a half with Emerald, because I've been busy recording Sonic 3 and Knuckles and Silver, uh, trying to finish up those two. I think I, ha I have finished up recording them, though, so now I'm focusing more on Emerald Randomizer, hopefully, and my next project, which y'all won't know of yet. Until after I, after I put the finale to Sonic 3, Knuckles, and Silver. So there you go. Anyway, ride and gravel and shake up your soul. Ride those cycles. Let's go ahead and go in here, because I think I need a bike. Alright, what you guys say, bro? I'm learning about bikes while I work here. If you need advice on how to ride your bike, there's a couple handbooks in the back. Okay, let's uh, let's go ahead and talk to Mr. R uh, I guess you're Rydal here. Well, 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 what do you have for here? I'm most energetic customer. Me? You may call me Rido. I'm the owner of this cycle shop. Your running shoes, they're awfully filthy. Screw you. I will keep these things clean. I'm fresh dressed like a million bucks. What are you talking about? Did you come from far away? I don't think it matters what you say here. So I'm gonna say yes. Hmm. <laughs> You're saying that you came all this way from Little Root? My goodness, that's ridiculously far. I'm switching in between a French and Italian accent. I don't know why. If you had one of my bikes, you could go anywhere easily while feeling the gentle caress of the wind. I tell you what, I'll give you a bike. Oh, wait a second. I forgot to tell you, there are two kinds of bikes. Yes, two kinds of bikes. This is the first, uh, this is the first, I think, and only Pokemon, um, series that that gives you two kinds of bikes. The, uh, the Mike, Mike bike, really? The Mark bike and the Acro bike. The mock bike is for cyclists who want to feel the wind with their bodies. And an acro bike is for those who prefer technical rides. I'm a real sweetheart, so you can have whichever one you like. Which will you choose? I'm gonna, for the sake of, um, continuation, I'm just gonna choose the mock bike for now. But if I need to, I'll come back and get the acro. So I'm gonna choose Mike. Snow, choose the mock bike. Obtain the mock bike. Yay! Get the mock bike and put it in the key items pocket. How do we put something in our book bag that's that freaking big anyway? If you are at the urge to switch bikes, just come see me. You have no voice, but Alright, there there are manuals back here, and we'll read them right face. Handbook on the mock bike. Which page do you want to read? Uh, you know what? Nah, screw it. We'll worry about reading those later, because right now, I want to get into the actual interesting part of the uh, video. First things first, I want to actually um, register my bike. Alright. Oh, no, how, how do I register? I forgot how to do it. Um, oh, there, <laughs> select it, there you can just select from the, um, menu, and there you go. I probably should have picked the acro bike, no matter. Alright, but here, so we go left to Route 117, we get the daycare. I'm the daycare man. I look like Winford Brindley. Something, something, something. Diabetes. Anyway, I hope to cut Press's Pokemon of Trainers. If you'd like me to raise your Pokemon, have a word with my wife. Well, fine. I'll have a word with your wife. How about that? How do you like that, boo? Anyway, hi yo. I'm the daycare lady. We can raise Pokemon for you. Would you like us to raise one? Let's see. Which Pokemon should we raise for you, and who should I drop off? 
You know what? No, I'm not gonna drop anybody off yet. I'm actually gonna go ahead. Oh, since there's a PC here, I'm gonna go ahead and use the PC. I'm going to use the PC. I'm gonna speed this up a little bit because I don't think anybody wants to see uh, me handling business. I'm gonna put Seamus and uh, uh, Kelsey in the um, daycare. Get them leveled up a little. But yeah, uh, whoops. as with Gen 2, you can actually um, breed your Pokemon. So yeah, stuff. <laughs> and even more stuff. Alright. Just gonna drop them off. Do 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 drop Kelsey off. Yes, you can raise two of my Pokemon. You can have Seamus as well. I don't know if they belong to the same egg group. I wasn't paying attention. But um if they do, then you'll get an egg. And you'll get a baby of the uh what was it? Baby the male, I believe. I'll figure it out eventually. Alright, let's see. Let's go ahead and withdraw D Pat and Kitty again. And there you go. Now let's get back out of here. Because we're at six minutes in and we haven't done much of anything. Anyway, let's go and talk to you. Hi, yo. I left my Pokemon at the daycare. When I got it back, it had new rules that I didn't teach it. I was really, really surprised. Okay, you'd be really, really surprised. How about you? Hi, yo. I'm going to tag up with my super senior student partner and beat you. Okay, you think that. But anyway, let's go ahead and battle. It's another double battle, senior and junior, and a Meg. Hey, hey, it's Meg. Anyway, she's got a zigzag goon and a Makahita. So why is that bit bring big issue? I don't know. But yeah, as you can see, I leveled up in meal quite a bit. Because, uh, for the next gym. And that stuff. Really not much I can say about that. He's learned a couple new moves since I started leveling him up. Uh, I'll show him in a second. As soon as we get around to him. Yeah, this is more likely just a filler episode, okay? I mean, I know, it's not going as fast as everyone wants to. You know what, let's speed up the battle. See, but he's learned Psy Beam, Self Destruct, Rock Tomb, and Mud Slap. Those are his current moves. He learned Rock Tomb and Self Destruct. Like, during my off-screen training. That's really about it. Jeff and I haven't really leveled up much. Because they would be kind of useless in the next gym. Which, if y'all... I mean, unless y'all haven't played Pokemon Emerald or Pokemon uh, Ruby and Sapphire. Y'all know the third gym is an electric gym. And I think almost all my Pokemon are weak to electric type. So, let's go ahead. And oh no, I'm sorry, Anna. I let you down. Eh, we got $544, we were that good. We can't take this line down. You will come back, won't you? Maybe. Yeah, but yeah, we registered them as Pokemon because we're that good. I'm gonna go ahead and switch my Pokemon around. So, because the meal's level 24. <laughs> Real talk, I think he's over-leveled. Anyway, let's go down here. Talk to you. What you guys... Listen, could I get you to battle the Pokemon that I'm raising? Oh, these are one of these long ass battles. All right, yeah. Pokemon breeder Isaac, who has six Pokemon. You know the Pokemon breeders have like a good freaking whole team of Pokemon, but they're all weak. Let's like, see. Wizmer, Zigzagoon. I'm gonna get Jeff leveled up a little bit. All right. Yeah, we got Jeff's at level 18. Aron, which I'm putting the Saiyan for. <laughs> Poochiana. Oh, Keaton say in there. Uh, Taylo. And... Makahita. And he says Taylo. Okay. And there you go. Isaac defeated. <laughs> You've raised her superbly. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mine. I have her mine. I even um, native of, Ten of Hoenn. So there you go. I'm going to redouble my training. Will you come in look in on us? Of course. You're basically my uh, training spot now. Thank you. Pokemon Breeder Isaac was registered in the Pokenab. What about you? What you guys say? Uh, hi yo. I'm in the middle of a triathlon, but whatever. Let's have a battle. That's not a triathlon, bro. You're running in the same spot over and over and over. Last time I checked, the triathlon was swimming, biking, and running. And you're not. You're just running. You're running around in circles. 
Um, <laughs> let's go ahead and I'm gonna speed this up. Dylan, he's only got a dog duo. Jeff can take care of him, two packs. See? I ran out of energy. What? Running around in circles? Dude, you ain't do nothing. Pokemon have to be strong, strong too. I like you to. Pokemon have to be strong too? Question mark? I like you to train me. Okay, we'll train you. Right straight into Pokenav, blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's go ahead and pick these Weep Hair Berries. I forgot what Weep Hair Berries do. Let me see. Bag. What do we pair berries do? Berries. Okay. Oh, they're just a Poke Block ingredient. Yeah, we'll learn about Poke Blocks uh, at a later episode. Not right now. But we're gonna go ahead and. Who is it, this woman? No. That's the one I already talked to. I think it's another girl somewhere that has six Pokemon. And I want to battle her before the end of the episode. And you're not it. I do my travel and training with Pokemon, so I'm pretty confident about my speed. Okay. Reep, 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 reep. You only got a dough duo anyway. You're just that other guy running in circles for no good reason. And we defeated Triathlete Maria. <laughs> I need to get more practices in, I guess. You were wearing more clothes than your sprite. What the heck? <laughs> Alright. It, oh, I gotta register you too. You appear to be training properly. If you'd like, I'd battle you later. And register Triathlete Maria in the Pokemon. Okay. What you guys say, bro? Hi, yo. Hi, yo. The air is tasty here! What are you tasting the air for? Oh, it looks like a double- Oh, wow. Two double battles. I want a double battle this one. Concentrate on getting the win. That's how I battle. Huh? Hey, yo. Isn't it nice to battle while I'm looking at pretty flowers? Yes. We're not looking at flowers, though. It's a double battle. Double battle time. Jeff and Emil, you take care of these sons of guns. Let's see. There we go, one. Oh, much left done. Oh, wait. Dodo is a part flying type. D <laughs> it doesn't look like it. Dodo has no wings. How is that a flying type? <laughs> it has no sort of appendage used for flying. I mean, hey, Jeff Grillo. Okay. Alright, Emil gained some points. And Battle Girl Lisa, I mean, Aisha, and Triathlete. Tri blah, 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 blah. Battle Girl Aisha and tri Triathlete Melina. There we go. We're defeated. I don't waste any time being anger of our loss. I would rather train. Okay, fine. Oh, that's quite impressive. And we get a thousand dollars and no training. Uh, do I really want to battle you? I don't know. Uh, what the hell? Let me demonstrate the power hidden within a psychic Pokemon. Okay. What Pokemon you got? Your psychic Brandy. Huh. Psychic Brandy actually looks like the name fits you. Anyway, send out Ralts. Freaking Ralts. I can battle you. Wow, Jeff. One hit. Look at that. Look at that. Didn't even Oko it. Just put down like one HP. That ain't even right, bruh. Oh well, defeating Psychic Brandy. Astonishing. Your face. Your face is astonishing. Astonishing bad. Ha ha. What? What? Hi, yo. Once a bear catcher. And now a bug maniac. But my love for Pokemon remains unchanged. <laughs> what the hell kind of laugh was that? Anyway, Bug Maniac Derek has got a Dust Tox. I got Jeff, by the way. Thought I'd point that out. And, uh, what was the other one? Beautifly. Duh, of course. Huh, <laughs> one hit Beautifly. And Jeff grew level 20. You see, Jeff is leveling up, even though I don't really need him to. But Bug Maniac Derek was defeated. My ineptitude also remains unchanged. <laughs> I don't even know anymore. Anyway, uh, hmm. I guess we can battle the rest of these peeps in the next episode. Anyway, because I need, I'm gonna go back to heal. Yeah, I really didn't get much progress done this episode because, well, I don't want to battle the gym quite yet. Mainly because I don't think I'm ready for the gym. I mean, Watson somehow is a bit of a challenge for me for some reason. I don't know why. But anyway, in the next episode, I'll either go to battle Watson or finish battling the trainers out in Route 117. Make sure to sub to the show to keep updated. Make sure if you like what you see, like, comment, and sub. Um, make sure to like, comment, and sub to people in the description and in my box as well, since they deserve it. Till next time, everybody. Hedgy.
out.